So welcome back guys to part 3 on my um, Walking Dead, the final season, just be part 3, we left off at this point and it stopped me here so let's go off to the next game and let's go. And AJ, go on bed. AJ, listen to me, it's gonna be okay, please just give the bed a chance, it's soft and warm, I think you'll really like it. This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. doing I was looking for more pencils but I wasn't able to find any who are these guys they are firefighters that one's a policeman she's gonna save the day but what are they they these were the people who protected us where are they I've never seen one before died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Clem, please. It's mine. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. as she seems. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's 
not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle, tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Master's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Well, that's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. One more thing. You see these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller and food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. We're taking care of these kids. It's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. It could break us. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, but multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, uh, I just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going upriver to do some spearfishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. 
Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. We could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. You know, I think I'd drive through the heart of a city. Somewhere big, like New York. All the lights, and the beautiful buildings. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, oh yeah, the biggest city in the world. I'm sure that's nice and safe. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Sometimes you can make art out of words. They made their names art.
This is cool. Edgy. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I'm sorry. We weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. Tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. She definitely thinks you hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. Because... You blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you.
Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A uh, Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Huh. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. Let's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. Climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing.
Good luck. These will be perfect. Clint, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... 
Maybe more? We're a big group. Strong people, well-armed. Uh-huh. Right, right. And this big, strong group sends the kids out to do the risky work. Interesting. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide-and-seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. So guys, gonna end it right here, thanks for watching us, see you like in the next one, and let's go for 10 likes. Cheers guys!